Our team coverage turns to Local 10's Christian De La Rosa. And he reports now from Perry in the Big Bend area. Christian. That's right, and this is where a lot of people and authorities are out and about surveying the damage and many of them dealing with what they explain is a sense of shock of just how powerful the storm was despite all of the warnings. Uh, but as so many are picking up the pieces and counting their losses, no doubt about it, this could have been so much worse. Idalia's fury blasting through Perry as it made landfall. It was it was bad. It was heavy, heavy, heavy winds. Um, worst I've ever been in. The damage is widespread. Hurricane force winds took down big trees and power lines, making some roads impassable. The storm's power blasted windows, shredding through businesses and peeling off roofs from homes. This gas station canopy blown to its side, ripping out its pumps. So we were happy that that didn't catch on fire. The National Guard is here to help, but Arthur and Patricia Fletcher got to work. They cleared their own road from debris on waiting. their own. You're not wasting any time. No, no. Their neighbors' cars were crushed by falling tree limbs. But everyone here is just grateful. I'm just thanking God every minute that, you know, well, we're still here and, you know, this, this stuff is nothing as long as everybody's okay. Yeah, we have yet to touch base with a lot of the state authorities, local authorities, the sheriff's office to find out exactly what might have been the extent as far as people getting hurt or any loss of life. So far, no reports of that at this time, guys. And Christian, when it comes to outages in the area and having signal to contact people, you yourself and your crew have been dealing with that too, correct? We were just able to connect with the newsroom some 15 minutes ago. So yes, there are a lot of people that are pretty much off the grid uh, in this area of Perry. And as far as power goes, as far as we've been able to survey and drive around, no one has power. A lot of people are without power. And we heard from authorities prior to the storm that that would happen and that it could take as many as two or three days for all of the power to be restored in the area. Hmm. Live in Perry, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Okay, we'll be checking in with you quite a bit there. Thanks a lot there, Christian.